Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to add tables to your website. Now in this example, I'm going to demonstrate how to add a table that is roughly 700 pixels wide. I did write a home page write-up, and if you do type something up in another program like Word, you could select your text, you could right-click and copy that, or do Control-C of your keyboard, the shortcut for copy. Once you've copied it, you can return to the site, go into edit mode, and go ahead and paste. This is not in a table, so if I had a huge monitor, this text would go on forever, and I don't like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and go into the HTML, and I'm going to do Control-A, Sometimes if you want to start from scratch, you might be better off just deleting all the garbage behind the scenes in HTML. So I'll go ahead and delete that and update. So again, that's in edit mode, the HTML. Now what I want to do is I want to go to table, insert, and I'm going to only insert a one by one table. Now you can go into HTML right now, and in that code, what you could do is locate the width. In this case, it's 60 pixels wide. I'm going to set that to 700. This is my preference. I'm going to also set the border to 0. So pretty much where it says 1px or border equals 1, set that to 0 unless you want a border. I personally don't like those borders. In this case, I'll say update and you can see when I click down, that's the width of the table. And I will have that consistent width on all my pages. Again, if you don't want to mess with tables and you just want to randomly throw your content on the page, that's fine. This is one of my preferences, so I like to add tables. Now what I also like to do is if I'm copying from somewhere else, I like to copy the text and then I go to the start menu, I go to all programs, I locate accessories, and I open up Notepad. I like to paste it in Notepad, so I'll do Control V. And what I tell my students is Notepad is basically like a word purifier, because sometimes when you copy from somewhere else, you bring in some of the garbage associated with that program, and then it ends up in your HTML and it can get kind of nasty and difficult to follow through with as far as if you're running into problems. So I'm basically purifying my text in Notepad. I will then do Control A, Control C or X, Control X is for cut, Control C for copy. I will then return to my site in edit mode, click inside that table and do Control V. And as you recall earlier, I did set up Georgia size 16 is my font. Lo and behold, it is Georgia. It says 10, but it is actually 16. You can see that? That's 10. So whatever you set up your text to be, if you copy and paste from Notepad, it will automatically give you that font. The next is going to demonstrate how to add an image into that table. This concludes the session on how to set up a simple table accessing your HTML code to set the width and to remove the one pixel border. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.